can we overcome it standing in our way? Can we stand out from the crowd? Pray our turn will come around. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be getting ready with me for my year 12 formal. It's currently 1 o'clock right now and my mum was meant to be doing my hair because I actually want it to look good. But she's not here right now and her phone hasn't been working for the past couple of days so I can't actually contact her and see where she is. But that means we'll get started with makeup right away. If you've never seen me before, hi, my name is Francesca Starson and it is a pleasure to meet you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. If you're brave, you can check out my social media platforms like Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. I think that's all of them. Because my mum's running late, I am in a bit of a hurry, so if I forget to name a product, I will put it down in the description box below or probably put subtitles of what it is. So without further ado, let's get this crack a lacking. Okay, so we're gonna start with some moisturizer. So a few weeks ago, I actually had my school production, which would have been my last one. We did a Shakespeare play called Much Ado About Nothing. And I was part of the watch. My my best friend was actually the lead, so she was Beatrice. And it was really cool to see her perform because she is quite, uh, she was a very talented woman and, you know, she's just really lovely and... Oh, and if you're wondering what the hell this is, this was me testing out my Colourpop gel liner with a brush that I haven't used before. And it obviously worked. Which you will see later. Moisturize me. Can't really see my eyebrows that much now that I have a fringe, so we're just gonna try and work with what we have. So a lot of this stuff is my usual um like brow routine and my face routine, so um if you guys have seen my other videos, you know what this is. This is the brow is from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Ebony. The I can go. If we ran through this empty city, searching for a goal, who would be right there to keep us safe while we travel on a road? Found a way to seize the day with no way. Sorry, not talking very much because I'm actually trying to concentrate. Oh, oh now nah, that's scary. What else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so this morning something really crazy happened. My year level has this um like this Facebook um, group where we posted um, all of our um, formal dresses to make sure we weren't like getting the same one. So then this morning this girl said that she um, that she didn't fit into her dress properly anymore so she had to borrow one. But when she first got the dress I told her that I had one that was a similar style but she got it anyways and now um, so then after that I got a new dress and then when I found out this morning that her dress didn't fit properly I had a dilemma of whether I was gonna wear my first dress or not so I feel like I'm I am going to wear the first dress because I really love it I prefer it over my um, champagne one which I will put up a pic in a sec this is a new product that I haven't used before on YouTube so this is sorry this is the stroke of genius the Liquid Cashmere Foundation SPF 20 from Napoleon Purdy. And I was really interested in this one because you have like an on and off switch of when you want to um, apply the foundation. Okay, try not to squeeze too much. I mean, I don't really like the applicator that much, but I think it is a good idea. Um, I just prefer my beauty blender because I don't like um, applying foundations with a brush personally. I gotta do the off. Oh. 
I like the coverage. The only problem is that you have to set it down with a, a powder, which I wasn't expecting. Otherwise, it moves around quite a bit and it probably won't sit well with all your other makeup. This is the good old Sephora um, smoothing and brightening powder. I'm actually going to be doing something a little bit different to what I usually do. First I'm going to apply some concealer onto my lips and put some colour on my lip first before I do the eyes and the contour. Oh yes, and this is also a new product. This is from Real Techniques. This is their contour and highlight sponge. <laughs> I'll look up the name in a sec. For my lipstick today, I'm going to be using the liquid lipstick shade in I'm Shook from the Jeffree Star and Manny and Way collab. Give it a little one, two. So after ordering this, I got this delivered to me and it did not look like this color at all. So it looked like a brown brick kind of shade and I was a bit disappointed but then after a few weeks it turned back to this color and I was so happy because I realized it was due to having it shipped over and all the hot vehicles that it would have been traveling in. So if you do order a liquid lipstick and it's not the color that was advertised, I suggest putting it in the fridge for about 20 minutes, not the freezer because then it will no longer be a liquid lipstick. mind using this but it is quite um like hard compared to the actual beauty blenders and um so if you're trying to set concealer onto your eyes i probably wouldn't use this because when i tried that it was quite rough I am not dancing this year, I'm taking a break because of my senior year at school. However, I am still doing my school talent show. So, as you can see, my contour looks incredibly harsh, but now I've got my handy Kabuki brush to blend it all out. And I decided not to set any of my concealer because I wanted it to look, um, I wanted to look more natural and not so, um, flaky because my skin is really dry. Because I have a red dress, I'm going to be putting on some blush. This is the blush that I got from Sephora for my birthday. I showed you guys this in my birthday haul video a few months ago. I'm just going to be taking this red shade here because I don't, this one doesn't really, isn't really pigmented and doesn't show up on me so I prefer this one. Now moving on to my favourite part, highlight. So, I'm going to be using two, highlight, <laughs> two highlighters. First, I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost in the shade King Tut. I'm trying to get to my
And next I'm going to be going in with another Jeffree Star Cosmetic Skin Frost in the shade Eclipse. Sorry, I just covered my face there. So as usual, I'm going to start off by priming my eyes with NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. For my setting shade and my transition shade, I'm going to be starting off with Golden Ochre. Next, I'm going to be going in with Prima Vera on my eyelid. While I'm putting on my liner beforehand, I'm going to be putting on glue on my Fet Pulse Lashes. So these are the King Lashes from Majesty, Lash Majesty Lashes. And they look like this. And I'm probably going to put my lash glue and tweezers into my um, purse for formal, just in case these fall off. But I will be putting another layer of glue, just in case to make it extra tacky. So just to hide the lash band, I'm going to be going in with the Colourpop Gel Liner in S Swerve. I've been fiddling around with this eyeliner for a couple of weeks because I haven't found like a good enough brush until now. This is the brush I usually use for my brows, but I'm pretty sure it's meant to be for wing liner. That's probably why. <laughs> trying to make the left eye as thick as the right. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up the liner with my trusty Kat Von D tattoo liner. Just so I hide them bold chickens. I don't know. If you watch the makeup artist Tween Lee, you might understand me. <laughs> it will be a lot easier to do that now than later when I have the, the glue on. I mean, the lash and the glue on. Duh. putting on some Eclipse highlighter on my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes. See that shine? <laughs> I know this um, makeup may look really simple but bear with me because I don't want to look too crazy. And before I put on my fake lashes I'm going to be putting on the What's Your Type Black Mascara from The Balm. <laughs> These lashes are not going anywhere. I hope so. Okay, the last thing to do is put on some setting spray and then my makeup's finished. While I'm waiting for my mom, I just wanted to show you guys. This is my purse. 
So I got this a few years ago for Christmas and this is from Colette Heyman. And I'll put these on later, but for earrings, um, I got these from Lavisa. For a fun fact for you all, the theme for my formal is Starry Nights in Hollywood, so um, not only do I like stars, but I have a reason to wear them because of the theme. <laughs> Finished with this thing here I can oh my god my fringe really is way too long but anyways I my eyebrows <laughs> try and get the whole dress if you can I haven't you want some here stop moving you gotta stay still oh okay <laughs> <laughs> this is not the whole thing okay so I am wearing, I am wearing clothes, I swear. I just didn't want my clothes to get dirty while I was doing makeup, okay? And then back. No, just wait. Oh, look who's home. Move faster! Okay. <laughs> <laughs>